happy day so far and a happy start to your 2020. Can't believe it's 2020, so crazy. But unfortunately, the time has come for me to take down that beautiful, beautiful tree and all of my other Christmas decorations. It is currently New Year's Eve, so it's five, It's about four, oh, it's almost five o'clock right now, um, but we're not going to our New Year's Eve party until like 10, so I still have plenty of time to tidy up, put all the Christmas decor away, and just make our little home so crisp and clean so we can wake up on the new year with a beautiful clean space. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna take you guys along for a little clean with me and I'll show you how I store everything, especially living in a small place. Brandon and I, we live in a one bedroom, one bath apartment. So we don't have like a ton of room. Thankfully it is a nice size, but we have to get creative when it comes to storing our Christmas decor. And this is my first year storing Christmas decor in this apartment and I acquired quite a bit more this year. So should be interesting. We're gonna try our best and let's get going. So I'm gonna wait to take down the tree until the very last second. That's gonna be the last thing we do and then we'll have to vacuum because all the little pine needles and what not but basically my plan is to just make a huge pile of all the decorations right here and then i will try to fit them in our little container that we stored everything in last year and hopefully it'll all fit but if not i'll have to find other ways to or other spaces to put the items in this is a good before and after for clean with me because look at this mess Messy, 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 messy. And there's our air fryer. I gotta clean that. And then this is all the goodies I need to pack up. Oh my lanta. Oh my lanta. <laughs> Brandon just took down our decorations box because we keep it in our closet, like on the top of our shelves. And I was not expecting it to be this full. Like it's already full. <laughs> My goal is to fit all the Christmas stuff in here. And he said, good luck. So this will definitely be interesting, but hmm. Okay, so we have all these extra Christmas lights. I guess I should test these out to see if they work. And then we have a bunch of fall stuff. Is this fall stuff? Yep, fall stuff. I guess I just need to go through everything. Oh yeah, and in fall, um, I decided to save our cleaning supply that I bought. So like our fall themed cleaning supply. But I'm not gonna do that this time. And I'm actually going to take this out and just put it under the sink so that we can use it now because I, I like the idea of saving it for the season, but it's just not that practical with storing everything and especially if we end up moving this upcoming year. So I'll keep this little soap, but these two we'll just go ahead and use so we don't have to leave them packed up and move them and I can just get new ones next season. Before I get started, I want to make some fuel to accompany me and keep me up till like 1 a.m. tonight because it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> but I still have my little hot cocoa. The kitchen's a mess. I got my air fryer out. But I still have our little hot cocoa stand, which sadly I will be taking down today. But I think I'm going to make a like hot cocoa latte. So if you saw my coffee DIY, Christmas coffee DIYs video, you know what I'm talking about. But I actually made a frappe, but I'm just going to do like a hot version of it. And I'm going to make that and that'll keep me company, keep me going. But I wanted to show you I'm actually making cold brew right now with this cold brew maker that my mom got me for Christmas. So I still have to fill it up all the way, but it's pretty cool. I have to leave it in the fridge for 8 to 12 hours so that it can brew. But I think it's going to be really, really yummy. And that's going to be perfect for my afternoon cups of coffee. Because in the morning, I really, really love warm coffee. And then in the afternoon, I love cold coffee, like iced coffee. And so it's going to be super yummy. But today, I'm kind of in the mood for a cozy drink because it's a little chilly outside. And that just sounds nice. <laughs> Craft. 
So I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half of coffee. And then I'm gonna infuse a little hot cocoa in my coffee. And I actually have some coffee left over from this morning, which I just got grounds in. Awesome. But I'm just gonna add it all together. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little hot cocoa on the bottom. And then I'll put some at the top too and mix it all together. Once my water is done, we still have quite a bit. I'm not gonna save this. I don't know what to do with it. You guys gotta come over and drink hot cocoa with me. in the process of making another cup of coffee because my first one tasted so bad. I don't know what went wrong. I think it was my coffee leftovers from this morning because this morning when I made coffee, I added mint extract to my coffee and it tasted good this morning. Like I just added a tiny bit, but I think since there was only a little bit left, all the mint extract was just sitting at the bottom and it just tasted too strong and like chemically. So, Round two, here we go. Columb box that was part of a gift that my dad gave us and I'm gonna use it to store our ornaments because I don't have like a little box for them yet and I'll probably have some extra room because we don't have too many ornaments and so I'll put like our little coffee mugs and stuff I'll wrap them up and then put them in there lot left even though this little container is pretty much full I have a few little nooks and crannies I can kind of shove a few more items in but stuff like that like it is just not gonna fit especially with all my big pumpkins from fall so I'll try my best to fit some more but these little guys I will just hide in different corners of our apartment like in the utility closet and under our bed, which Brandon does not like. He loves all of it to be in one place, but you just gotta make it work. Also, I wanted to put like my Christmas PJs and my slippers and all that good stuff with my decorations because I, I really don't need to wear it until Christmas rolls around next year. So I think I'll be able to squeeze a few of these things in this container, but then the rest I'll just put in a baggie and then place with like my tree and my pillows under the bed. utility closet this is what I'm talking about it's just like where your air vent is and stuff um, usually there's one in apartments but there's like this extra room back here on both sides we have some boxes for moving but like there's definitely room look at that I mean it's not ideal but I can hide a few things back here <laughs> wrestling with the Christmas lights for about 15 minutes 
Um, if we ever, well, we will probably get a bigger tree. That's a six foot tree and it's super, super cute for our little apartment. But I think when we get a house, we'll want to get like a taller tree and a bigger tree. And then we can put that one like in our master bedroom or something like that. But I'm going to get a pre-lit one for sure. Because with a smaller tree, it's, yeah, it was a little frustrating to untangle the lights, but it wasn't that big of a deal. But if it was like a nine foot tree, it would be very, very tricky. So I think pre-lit is the way to go, but then what if the lights die? I guess you could just put new lights around. I don't know, decisions, but this is where we're at. It's looking so boring without the tree. I'm gonna need to get some new decorations, maybe a little Ikea vlog. I actually really do wanna go to Ikea soon to get some more organization um, storage bins and stuff like that, and I wanna like redo our fridge and make it super, super cool with like a bunch of containers and stuff, like Pinteresty. so let me know if you guys would like to see that in a video. But this is the situation. I'm gonna wait till Brandon gets home because I'm having some trouble taking the legs off of the tree on the bottom. So I'm gonna see if he knows if there's a secret to it or if I'm just like being a little weakling, but I'm gonna wait for him. And then this is our pile of other decorations. I'm going to take all these like textiles. This is the tree skirt and then I have my Christmas blanket and PJs and pillows and probably put these in a garbage bag or a big retail bag and then shove them under the bed. <laughs> over he's actually the pro organizer I have nothing on him <laughs> he didn't approve of my organizing so we had to <laughs> readjust left in me I have to conserve my energy because it's only like 8 30 p.m. and I feel so tired and I still gotta go out and party and celebrate the new year so I might take a little nap but that was very productive and we have a nice clean apartment I still have some problem areas like my closet and all the blankets I need to hide under the bed but I'm gonna leave that for another day, but let me know if you guys enjoyed these videos. I want to do a shop with me at Ikea for organization, and I wanna do a closet clean out, and I wanna do a fridge organization video. So let me know if you guys wanna see those, um, because I'm gonna be doing them the next couple of weeks to kick off the new year and get all organized. So excited for that. Lots more fun cleaning satisfying inspo to come but i love you guys so much thank you for watching i hope you have a beautiful 2020 and i'll see you super soon bye